Hello, Dimsdale. I'm Chet Ubecho with today's editorial, which technically makes it a Chetatorial. Early Friday, a train derailed in Bordelac, North Dakota, with 25 to 30 cars carrying hazardous materials, including anhydrous ammonia, sulfur, and methanol, igniting a fire. Authorities are monitoring air quality and the site for environmental impact. Local and regional crews, including Canadian Pacific Kansas City, are working to extinguish the fires, cool rail cars, and remove hazardous materials. Residents within a one-mile radius were notified, and a voluntary evacuation was issued. The cause is under investigation, but the engineer and conductor escaped safely. The National Transportation Safety Board is investigating. In other developments, a newborn, known as Angel Baby Doe, was abandoned in a Texas ditch and left unidentified for 23 years. Discovered in November 2001 with her umbilical cord still attached, the infant died from lack of medical care. Authorities identified her mother, Shelby Stotts, through DNA in September 2023. Stotts was indicted on a second-degree manslaughter charge. The case was revived in June 2021 using forensic genetic genealogy, leading to new evidence and identifying Stotts. Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton emphasized the importance of securing justice for the child. In another update, Mississippi police are conducting a manhunt for two suspects who escaped the Claiborne County Detention Center. Tyre Kennel Collins, 24, and Desarius Johnson, 18, both charged with murder, broke out at 2.20 a.m. Surveillance footage showed them escaping through the ceiling. Sheriff James Bailey emphasized the urgency of their capture to prevent further harm. Authorities consider the suspects dangerous and urge the public to be cautious. Anyone with information should contact the Claiborne County Sheriff's Department immediately. In other news... Two teenagers, aged 17 and 18, drowned while swimming at Coney Island Beach, Brooklyn. Police received a distress call around 8.10 p.m. Friday, reporting the girls missing near Stillwell Avenue and Boardwalk West. Despite efforts from aviation, harbor, and scuba units, the teens were found and transported to NYC Health and Hospitals Coney Island, where they were pronounced dead. Witnesses noted a sudden rainstorm, prompting most beachgoers to seek shelter, but the girls entered the rough waters. The investigation continues. From all of us here, stay classy, Dimsdale.